Thank you, Madam Speaker. A true hero isn't measured by physical strength, but by the strength of their heart. This past year, there's been a significant focus on healthcare providers, not just in Manitoba, but throughout our entire world. They're a profession that never quits giving, and we owe them our heartfelt gratitude. Today, I want to express my appreciation for someone special in Nagasi constituency who has had a lifelong career as a nurse. Her name is Sheila Olson. She graduated as an LPN in 1968 from the St. Boniface Hospital. She lives in a very small but vibrant community of Langruth. My earliest memory of Sheila go back to 1972 when my husband Bob and I became owners of Hammond's Funeral Service and Ambulance Service. When called for an ambulance service or unexpected deaths in the Langruth community, any time, day or night, the call most of often came from Sheila. She was already at the home, attending to someone who was seriously ill, injured, or she was with the family of the deceased till Bob arrived. After 53 years, she is still the community nurse by tradition that helps anyone in need in her community. Sheila has worked in the Gladstone Hospital in more recent years at Third Crossing Manor as well. After her retirement in 2004, she continued to take casual shifts as a health care aide and a home care provider, which was so much appreciated by management, her colleagues, patients and clients. She is currently filling the position of scheduling clerk for these facilities. Besides her commitment to health care in our province, Sheila is a proud mom of three adult daughters and a loving grandma to seven grandchildren. She's also a lifelong volunteer to her local community. She has served on the hall, fall supper and rink committees and always a committed promoter and worker of all community fundraising events. She also visits, takes meals to seniors and shut-ins and always takes time to call others who definitely need a friendly voice just to know someone is there. Thank you, Sheila. As a dedicated health worker, you have gone above and beyond to serve suffering individuals and give them a quality of life. Don't underestimate the legacy you leave behind as a nurse and a community volunteer as you are impacting generations to come. Thank you, Madam Speaker.